Oh my god, I met someone's got a bigger head than me. That's so <laughs> awesome. It's so massive. God, I was on the camera. All right, hey, this is John. Do you do it? You know me. We got Rob Ackless here. Rob, what fresh be up? Fresh VO on Twi Twitter, right? At Fresh VO on Twitter, absolutely. Yeah, so tell us about you, like how you got started in doing voiceover. Man, we're talking about voiceover? Yeah, I got lots of stuff I like to talk about. So I do voiceovers and author, speaker, where do you want to hit? You want it all? I, I want it all. All right, so uh, I have been a voice actor for many, many years, probably longer than some of you have been alive. Um, you may have recognized me as the voice of Walmart or a commercial from Subway or uh, TCF Bank or Bear Aspirin or AAA or a lot of those things. I'm also an audiobook narrator. I have 33 books on Audible. 33. 33 books, and I'm proud to say that I am the narrator for Hal Elrod's The Miracle Morning audiobook series. I listen to it, and I'm like, I know Rob. And I'm like, That's this me. is so awesome. That's me. And we've sold over 300,000 copies of that book. Yeah. So it's really powerful. So what I love about that, and that gets me all juiced up, is the fact that I I get to take my voice and I get to bring Hal Elrod's words to life. Yep. And so what's really cool about that is that a lot of people don't read, they don't have time. And so they so there's 300,000 people that may have never bought the book and Hal's words are so impactful and so transformational that I'm the catalyst for their change and transformation of their life. That's right. And that's that's like I love doing commercials. I love I love I love doing that. I Another claim to fame is I have over 400,000 telephone prompts, so I'm the guy that says, <laughs> press one, press two, but Espanola prima numero ocho. That's me. Yeah, so, yeah, so I'm on all of those all of those telephone prompts, and that's great. Um, I've done, I'm in a nuclear reactor, which is actually kind of scary. This is actually scary. This is, like, I got chills about this. Okay, so these are the messages that go off. You know they have hospitals, so I'm a voice. A long time ago, I did a voice for hospitals, like, Attention please, attention please, a fire has been located on the third floor. Please do not use the elevator, use the stairway instead. Okay, so here's what I did. I did it for a nuclear uh, facility. So this is crazy. So I did these beginning uh, announcements like, you know, there's been a class one, da 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 da. And I'm getting deeper and deeper and deeper into these messages. And I guess OSHA law says you have to have these messages. And I started asking towards the end of the year of, of the messages, and I'm like, so what exactly does this mean if they hear this message? <laughs> They're gonna die very soon. Right, right, Chernobyl. <laughs> yeah, like it's the end of like like the nuclear fusion is happening, it's like it's like so on the last voice, I go, so should I be warm and fuzzy? Should I change? Should I? He goes, no. He goes, we actually don't want them to know that it's the last one. There's multiple messages, so they kind of still think they have an opportunity. And then there's another message, and it's like, yeah, it's, it's, it's the implosion is imminent, and it's like that. It's like, wow. So yeah, so that's one that... Not as life changing, but I don't know. It's just kind of that. So I've done a lot of things in, in the voiceover realm. And yeah, you can catch me on Twitter at, uh, at FreshVO. And uh, I share what I share. And, uh, so I met Rob last year. I volunteered. I was standing right next to him for uh, quite a while at the session. But we're at Bid Summit. So you can see the sign here, Bid Summit. Absolutely. I want to say hashtag power of Bid Summit. This is a hashtag that I don't think anybody started. So I'm tweeting this out a lot. I'm I really, tweet that today. I I really think I really think that there's a lot of power in bit something because we're coming together. Two different angles, right? Yeah. He's voiceover, I'm DIY. We really shouldn't meet. But Bit Summit brought us together. And since we met before, we know each other. I'm able to ask him questions. He's on my channel right now. This is the power of Vincent. There you go. Well, you know, so one of the things that you do do it yourself, and, and a lot of people have fear based on that. So not only am I a voice actor, but I wrote a book called The Law of Action. And The Law of Action is about breaking through your fears and living a life of inspired action. And fears tend to stop you. So in my case, it's really good that I'm fearful to not do do-it-yourself projects. Because people could get hurt, namely me, and possibly even die. And you know, my message is to live every day like you want to be alive. Like really. So I guess what I want to share with you is that 
the projects that you say you're gonna do someday, 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 build the deck, and like what kind of different things, like what's the popular thing coming out right now that everyone wants to do, but they're not doing it? People wanna do LED stuff. Things with LED okay, cool. and epoxy. So, that's my thing. I'm like Mr. Epoxy. I'm like, it's like hypnotic. I just wanna, so, funny story, I told my friend I wanna build uh, a river table. Yeah. So here's how, lack of that's DI. That's trademark, by the way. River oh, is it? Okay. Yeah. Oh, you can say it. I'm gonna no, get sued. Want yeah, me to soon? Say. Okay, good. Let me check my legal team. Okay. So, this is how much I don't understand about do it yourself. So, my buddy is really handy. He builds houses and he's really creative and stuff. And I started ordering epoxy and stuff like this. And I went and got a river tape. I went and got a, a piece of wood that the I ordered. Edge. Yeah, it was like $900. And I went and got it. And I'm like, this is cool. Because I guess the tables are like six or seven thousand dollars. Yeah, that's right. Okay. So, I got my, my dear friend Sean Smith, man. My, my business partner and just dear friend and so this is to tell you how much I don't know about do yourself stuff. I saw a video eight minutes on how to do this table. So I thought it was eight minute project. So I got started ordering this stuff and I'm like Hey, what do you, what do you want to do? And I go, let's build this table. So I have the epoxy coming. I go, let's do it Saturday. And he goes, do you have any idea <laughs> how long it takes to make the table? He goes, there's planning in this. And I go, dude, the video was like eight minutes. It was like eight minutes. So that didn't work. And then also, then I saw a cement table. And apparently you guys do some time lapse stuff. And that took longer. But what I wanted to share with you is that you know, you never know when your life can change. I recently had a, a very dear friend on Saturday, he passed away. Sorry and he to hear was, that. Thank you, thank you. And he was supposed to be here at Vid Summit. He was actually gonna be my roommate. He's been my roommate for years. And um, you know, the one thing is it's really important to know is that you wanna live every day like you wanna be alive. Like it's so important, so you're saying, you know what, next year I'm gonna do my LED thing. Next year, next year, next year. You know, it's so important that you enjoy your life every single day and really relish in the moments of connecting with fellow human beings. Like that is all that's important. Monetary is great, monetization, making money, being able to provide your bills and stuff like that. But really you need to understand that life is so important and so precious and connecting with people is so important. So. I tell you what, man, I wouldn't be watching the news. You don't need to watch all that nonsense. It's all about being present in the moment and having a true connection. So like, if you're thinking of like, well, I can't do that or I can't do this, you know, you've got you've got a master here and he's gonna show you how to do it. And just know that the length of the- I don't do it, you do it. Right, well the length of the video is not how long it takes to do the project. <laughs> just so you know, I that's what I thought. But what I want you to know is like, really overcome your fear and look at the joy you're gonna get. Like something with doing a do-yourself project, and I never did this with my daughter because I did one do-it-yourself project. We made acoustic panels for our movie theater. And that's something that I get moved emotionally by that because my daughter had brain surgery and had four strokes and almost died. And um, in the hospital room, that's one of the things that I thought about. It was like, you know, that's something I did with my daughter. So your son, your daughter, your wife, your best friend, whatever, just do this stuff. That's the cool thing about do it yourself. Like, I put together a Traeger grill the other day. And uh, it took me like two hours. Uh, my buddy Sean watched me do it. And it was hilarious, but just doing the, the, the wrenching and the stuff, and it was very basic stuff. Like, all I did was I flipped it over and put some legs on and inputted some screws. But just the camaraderie that him and I had doing this right, yeah. was like super cool. So then I'm like, well, that was fun. So then I got this new patio set. And then it had to be put together. That took like four hours. But I got, you could do it in eight minutes. No, yeah, you couldn't. You couldn't. <laughs> but, but what I learned about that is that it wasn't about the the, the uh, actual working of it was the process and it was the just being with the friends it was four of us we had a great time I put music on we weren't in a hurry and we had we had ultimately this amazing patio set so whatever's stopping you really know that first of all you could do it there's all kinds of information you know YouTube is so powerful in that 
You know, I was talking to Eric over here. If you ever say you can't do something, there's this thing called, it's like a channel with all these videos. What's it called? Um, uh, I don't know. You do it. YouTube. <laughs> so, like, anything you want to do is really on YouTube. Yeah, YouTube has it all. Like, and some of the information is wrong, so you have to know that, but I'm telling you, like, you can find the information. Then you find someone that knows how to do it. What I really liked about my friend Sean is I wanted him to build a barbecue. Like, I didn't want to build a barbecue. And he's like, no, man, you're gonna build a barbecue. Yeah, yeah. So like my dad moved out when I was yeah. yeah, my dad moved out when I was five. I didn't have that fatherly figure. Sean's younger than me, but man, I felt this real connection. Like I go, what do I do next? And I'm like, oh I screwed in and it was cool. And so I just want you to know, man, look at look at connecting with your people around you and find the projects and do them together. Don't go isolate yourself into a garage. Bring them all in. Let them joy share the joy with you. That's right. So that's kind of my message. So the power of YouTube is that it creates opportunities. So for me, the opportunity was I was able to attend Bid Summit last year as a volunteer. This year I paid for my ticket. So I'm here now talking about it. We're talking about making stuff. It's just incredible. Who would know? But we take a minute. That's another thing I say. I say take a minute to know something. Have a conversation with them. Pretty soon you'll find out that the two of you know somebody in common that knows somebody else. Absolutely. Absolutely. And you know, I'll tell you something. So I've been going to Bid Summit for a long time, and I've said this a couple times today. And I've been surrounded by the best of the best. And so if you're out there thinking of starting a YouTube channel, you're thinking, oh my God. Seven years in the making, I officially started my YouTube channel That's right. yesterday. Because it's all about taking action. I'm just like, you know, not about the fear, just like, I'm over this. Because I'm, I have a message to share, and you have a message to share, and I was being selfish. And I'll flat out say I was being selfish. I didn't share that message. And so I'm committed to sharing and adding tremendous value on that channel. And whether I have, well, I have 25 subscribers now, which is kind of cool. So That's in 24 right. hours. I'm number 23. That's right. So I don't care if I get 50 subscribers. The only thing I care about is adding value. And the, the, the subscriber count is going to be based on the value that I'm adding. If I ever get to 100,000, that means that I added tremendous. Value. That's right. And if I don't, then you know what? That's on me. But okay. I'm committed to adding tremendous value, and I don't get hung up. I mean, I can tell you, every single subscriber I've been checking and refreshing, 25 subscribers feels like I have 100,000. That's right. Like to know that 25 people have taken time out of their day and actually gone there and pressed the subscribe button and trust me to provide them value is very hard for me and that humbling. Is. And it's e even if it's one person. Absolutely. You have how many subscribers? I have uh, almost 12,000. So 12,000 people. That's a small town. Like I think LaBerka where Daryl lives is not even 12,000 people. Like 12,000 is a town. So, you know, you guys take action, start your channels, do your projects, but it's really all about community. And you know, this guy's got a heart of gold. I will tell you, when I walked in the room, when I walked into Bitch Sum, and he's like, oh, give me a big hug, and started taking video of me, and I mean, we it's have just, more XLR cables. it's all about the human connection. Yeah. Thank you so really much, Rob. You got it. And the other thing is, is asking. Ask, ask, ask. He never would have had this interview had he not asked. So overcome your fears, and take action, and ask, because the thing that's gonna happen, if you say, you know, hey, I don't want to interview Rob because he's going to say no. So I'm not going to interview him. But what happens? You didn't get the interview anyways. So if you ask and you don't get the interview, at least you took that action. But there's a possibility that there's a yes right there. So go out there, decide, plan, act, live a life of action, and yeah, do it yourself. Follow this guy, do your projects, and live a life of happily ever after. You're you deserve it. Thank you so much. Goodbye, everybody. I mean, nobody knows how to work. Yeah. So let me tell you something I did the DIY when I was a little kid. I just talked about with Pat Flynn. Yeah. We were talking about ideas and how you have ideas and you didn't do them. I was like 10 or 11 years old. And I'm not handy at all. Like, that's not, like, I should never watch your channel. Like, never. Like, people would die. Like, you namely me. <laughs> um, and what I did was, I wanted to have my initials on a piece of toast. So I took cardboard, I took foil, I took wire and opened up the toaster, which I don't think you're supposed to do. First of all, first of all, I didn't unplug it because I was stupid enough to even do that, and I'm like burning myself, and it was crazy. 
but I actually got it to work and I put my my letters on the thing and then I didn't I didn't know at 10 or 11 years old how to market didn't even think about making a product I just wanted toast with my name on it <laughs> and then a couple years later I saw it in this maybe like maybe 10 years later I saw the store and I just saw it again like in uh, on uh, on the internet they have Darth Vader toasters now yeah, yeah, yeah. so the guy invented that it's just so funny <laughs> it's like so crazy. it's just it's like crazy okay there's a lot of stuff we do as kids and we're like years later we're like what you're like I did that <laughs> I did that it was stupid but I mean let's see paper foil wire electricity someone who doesn't know anything about any of that stuff and burning the house <laughs> yeah. so that's me